They are. Good morning, everybody. Ongoing story yet again today here in America's Newsroom. I'm Bill Hemmer, and welcome as we start. Good morning, Bill. Yet again. I know you're morning, in a very Mark. good mood this morning. We'll we talk won. about that in a little while. <laughs> but we first, shall. this. Good yes. morning, everybody. So, just a week after the tragic attacks targeting the French satirical magazine, Charlie Hebdo taking a defiant stand against terrorism. There are six, or are there more than six? We sat here last week wondering. You got to. You got to talk to the family members. You gotta talk to the friends, you gotta close that ring. And there was an obvious getaway plan on behalf of this woman and perhaps many others. So she the search days continues. Before, uh, with somebody yes. else, so they need to find her. How about this? It was an awful commute that turned even deadly in one case in our nation's capital as a subway tunnel filled with smoke yesterday afternoon. Watch this. So the White House says that they will not fly the banner of a global war against Islamic radicalism because there are simply so many other groups that they are also worried about. Really? Like who? Congressman Adam Kinzinger, a member of the House Armed Services Committee, reacts to that. And they got it right. Champions was what they wore on their hats last night and their shirts and everything else. And you were a winner because you picked Ohio State. I picked Ohio State and it proves my theory. You know, is? you always like to run the numbers and the statistics uh -huh. and know exactly, you know, who's better prepared to win. And I think you felt that Oregon was going to win. But of course, being from Ohio, you had to root for Ohio. Uh -huh. But I could tell just from what I heard in your voice that, that, that the heart and the momentum was with Ohio, uh -huh. which is why I went for Ohio. Right. And heart always and wins I out in the end. I love that analysis spot on yet again. And anytime you stay Ezekiel up, Elliott? and anytime you stay up to one o'clock in the morning, you better win. <laughs> Which I <laughs> Congratulations did. Congratulations, Ohio State! Great season. All right, coming up right here, a remarkable story of survival. Crass calling it wealth distribution. We'll be on new hour of America's Newsroom. I'm Martha McCallum, and I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning. Police in Bulg. A stark and stunning headline too in that newspaper now. The way they portrayed it, they might need more than three million tomorrow. That's going to be everywhere. They I may think. have to double that. Yep. Ten minutes past the hour now. And they are informally called no-go zones, parts of France that the government designated as, quote, sensitive urban zones. Well, hackers leaving a chilling message, supposedly from ISIS. Investigation that comes out of that in Billings. All these stories have been talking about for months now. Shows you the heartache and the human side of these police officers. Very, very hard on job. On the line every day. Yep. Absolutely. All right. Not to give a lot away about the film, because I know a lot of you folks out there will go and see it. It opens nationwide this weekend. It's pretty phenomenal. Uh, and when you sit in a movie theater here in New York and nobody moves when the credits start rolling, you know it has an effect and a deep impact. I had an opportunity to talk to his wife, Taya, last night. She's an extraordinary woman, and she is so great. How, great how, is, so interesting. They, how is she doing? She's doing well. You know, I think she's been um, very much involved in this whole process. And the screenplay was signed off on by Chris Kyle to add that ending uh, to it that they never expected to, to put on there in a million years. So we wish them all well. It's a great project and a wonderful family. Our best. In the Dow today. So this is also coming up. Police in Paris. Uh, we got to run, everybody. Make it a great Tuesday. Have a great and, day, everybody. Uh, go Buckeyes. Can we go say Buckeyes. that? Go Buckeyes. Absolutely. Day. Why not? Congratulations. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.